So we're here this morning at Shineston Academy to deliver our Dreams Workshop in honour of World Book Day. I don't know if you can hear but all the children are behind the curtain anticipating what's going to happen for the day, all dressed up as their favourite characters from different books. We're thrilled to have been invited and we're excited about making a difference today in order for children to hold on to their dreams. The Dreams Workshop uh, today especially was a fantastic opportunity for the young people of this school and staff actually uh, to be able to talk about what they want to do, what they have wanted to do and it's inspired me and reminded me of myself and the kind of dreams and aspirations I had um, and it's given me food for thought so actually hearing some of the dreams and aspirations of the young people is something I can now take away and work with the children and see what we can do to kind of try and support them. We're here today talking about our dreams and aspirations and what we want to become when we get here. And one of those jobs that is really quite an interesting job is a firefighter. Has anybody here that they wanted to be a firefighter? No, interesting. Maybe. So what we wanted you to do is to draw a picture of a firefighter and give them a name. I'd like Dreams Workshops for the children of Shystone Academy because it's going to give them an opportunity to sit back and actually talk about what they want to do. Um, we talk about maths, we talk about writing, we see some fantastic writing, we talk about reading. But we don't really get to sit back and give the children uh, enough time to sit and express themselves and talk about what they want to do and tease it out. Of course we ask the children what we want to do but we don't get the get opportunity to tease it out and really learn a lot about them. Just off now to go and get changed to surprise the youngsters. Tom, James, Bob, Tom, Bob. Well, I have a bit of a surprise for you today because isn't it interesting how lots of people think that firefighters are normally boys? So shall I introduce you to my firefighter? All changed now, getting ready for the big reveal. See you soon. Hi everyone. The impact of the Dreams Workshop so far the children has been phenomenal. I've heard some children coming up to me at lunchtime uh, talking about their dreams and wanting to share them with me. Some of the dreams have been fantastic, some of them want to be a head teacher for me. Great inspiration I've given them. Most importantly actually, not just the children, some of the staff are talking about their dreams and aspirations and it's taught me a lot about them as people, uh, which has been you know, great to hear. So can I ask a question? Who now thinks and stand up if you think this, that ladies can be firefighters. Because our school values are all about perseverance and resilience, we'll be able to have those conversations with the children about transferring those skills. So if they're going to persevere, they want to be a footballer, let's persevere now, let's persevere you know, tomorrow, let's persevere yesterday. Um, so the impact has been amazing. Just as a raise of hand, who believes in themselves in this room? <coughs> That's brilliant. So when I was a child, my first dream was to become a widow cleaner. Now, there's a story behind this. Reason being, when we were younger, we lived in a hostel. We used to look out the window and I used to see this freedom uh, these people would have. And, you know, just watching somebody <laughs> wipe the windows like that, for me, it had a sense of uh, freedom there. And I thought, I really want to be a widow cleaner. But as time went on, um, I just wanted to do something for my mum more than anything and I wanted to do what she said to be proud of me and teaching felt like the right career to go into. I never dreamt of being a head teacher but I'll tell you what, it's probably the best thing I've ever done. The amount of people I've been able to inspire and the teachers, teachers and staff I've been able to inspire has been amazing so actually I've lived the dream.
I feel that the Dreams Workshop was amazing. The influence now, the outcome that I've got from actually becoming a teacher, which I am living the dream now, is probably down to my mum because she worked very hard to bring us up uh, when we were younger. I can't think of that um, And living the dream now and being able to make her proud of myself uh, and being able to share some of the stories that I have in school with the children, with the staff, it's, it's an experience that I can't really explain. Um, so I feel like every day I'm lucky. I pinch myself every day because I feel lucky. I've got the best of the best staff today. Now, have you had a lovely day so far? Yeah. I wish, when I was younger, I was taught to follow your dream and you can be anything you want to be, absolutely anything you want to be, because that's what we say to the children every day. Every day we say, you can be whatever you want to be. And I'm hoping this will continue to motivate them, make them persevere, make them actually believe they can do anything. And I really, really wish that somebody said that to me when I was younger. My thoughts on Alison delivering a Dreams Workshop in every primary school is do it, you have to do it. The atmosphere and the buzz around school today on World Book Day with Alison and the team working is incredible. I can't even put it to words. And at the end of the day we had children doing a walk um, around, parading their costumes and things. And I looked at every child and I thought, you're carrying the book, you're carrying the dream. And as they were parading around, they opened the books up, showing each other their dreams, and that was incredible. And as I walked around and I spoke to the children, they said, look, look, look at my dream, look at my dream. So yes, please, I think you should do it in all primary schools. Birmingham Airport brings lots of positive things to the community, such as employment, job, and maximises its economic benefits within the region. But we do understand that as part of our operation there is a negative consequence and that's aircraft noise and that does impact upon communities for which this, this school is part of. Birmingham Airport in its aim um, offers to provide inspirational activities at a very young age because we passionately do believe that giving children an opportunity at their earliest age inspires them for their future and instills that self-belief within children at that age so that they go on and realise their dreams and opportunities. So I would say to other corporate organisations that are considering uh, sponsoring Dreams Workshops to uh, schools in their local communities is to do it and to, to get involved. Uh, from a personal point of view today I've really enjoyed myself. Um, from a corporate point of view, these children certainly in the communities that are around where your place of employment are potentially our future employees and being able to have that conversation with them at an early age about their aspirations and future goals and careers um, inspires them to continue on that path. So we believe that it's the, a, a great initiative to get involved and it's really enjoyable so please do, do get involved. So we've had a fantastic day here today at Shireston Academy where we've been helping the children to explore their dreams and really consider what they want to be when they get bigger. Why is that important? Well, so many of us along our journey are told that we're not good enough or that our idea is silly and it should never happen. We don't believe that's true. We believe that everybody has brilliance and that everybody should be able to achieve their dream. So a fantastic day, a collaboration with a corporate organisation, Birmingham Airport supporting the workshops, with the school itself and the amazing teachers that are here making the difference for these children. So if you're thinking about a course to help your local community and encouraging children to hold on to their dreams, to build their skills, to enhance the passion that they already have in order to be the best possible employee that you could take on, then the Dreams Workshops might be for you. So if you're interested in really making a difference, please get in touch.